This video is the third in the Mod Organizer series. Information from video 1 and 2 will not be repeated here and will assume that you have viewed it, which I suggest you do if you haven't. Ready, set, here we go. What do they do? Profiles provide users with the ability to customize various playthroughs of the same game at the same time. Things that profiles effect left and right pane checkbox activation, left and right pane priority columns, the archives tab, BSA management, local save files, any file adjustments. All of these can be manipulated individually from profile to profile. Things that profiles do not affect. Optional plugins, hidden files, mod names, mod categories, mod versions, and pretty much everything else. All of these things must and will remain the same throughout each profile. If you want to alter absolutely everything in your setup, consider installing a second copy of Mod Organizer to the game folder and name the new Mod Organizer folder during installation something different, such as MO Install 2 or whatever you like. The Profile Window To open the Profile Window, select the Profile tab ID icon from MO's toolbar. Create allows you to create a new profile. Selecting Create opens a dialog window that allows you to name the new profile and implement the default game any files by activating the default game settings checkbox. Select OK when finished. Select Close. The new profile will now be active and can be changed via the profile drop down menu at the top of the left pane. All of your mods will be listed, but none of them will be activated. Copy allows you to duplicate pre-existing profiles in all of their settings, allowing for a familiar foundation. Selecting copy opens the name window, allowing you to name the copy. When finished, select OK, select Close. The new profile will now be active and can be changed via the profile drop-down menu. All settings will be carried over as seen. Remove allows you to delete the selected profile in all of its settings. Rename allows you to rename the selected profile. Transfer saves allows you to transfer save files from profile to profile. You can also transfer saves by navigating to the Mod Organizer folder, Profiles, the profile name, Saves, and then copy and paste them into the other profile save folders. Local Save Games By activating this checkbox, you will gray out the Transfer Saves option and only be allowed to see and use saves from the individual profile. Load Order Backup and Restore at the top of the left and right panes, you can back up and restore the asset and plugin load orders. Selecting the icon with the blue arrow will create a backup that will be titled after the current date and time. Selecting the icon with the yellow arrow will allow you to restore a previous load order from the backups that you have created. While most mod managers utilize the vanilla any files located in My Games on the system drive, Mod Organizer keeps its own set of any files that it stores in the individual profile folders so that the user can adjust them differently between profiles. To access a profile's any files, select the Tools puzzle icon from the toolbar. You then have two options to choose from. Any Editor Opening the Any Editor will present you with the Any Files window where each of the game's Any Files are presented in individual tabs. You can edit the Any Files here exactly the same way that you would in the My Games folder with other mod managers. The default Any Files have no effect on Mod Organizer whatsoever. The Configurator The second Any File editing option is the Configurator. By opening the window, you will be allowed to select and edit the different any file sections via a drop-down menu. The selected section will be presented in the window where you can then use the GUI to adjust settings as you desire. Selecting the interchangeable basic and advanced button from the top right of the window will hide and reveal different settings within each section. As always, if you have to make any changes, be sure to select Save. If you need help with editing your any files or care to see visual comparisons of each setting for each game, any file video guides are provided. Most third-party applications, such as XEdit and Merge Plugins, Skyree and Perma, Script Extenders, LogGen Mods, and more, need to be executed from within Mod Organizer itself for them to function properly. The list that you have been viewing on screen is all of the executables that MO is supposed to auto-detect for you. The Modify Executables window to open the Modify Executables window, which is where we manage third-party applications, select the Gears icon from the toolbar. The Viewing window 
The viewing window is where each executable that you have installed is displayed. They can be selected and manipulated by changing the text fields below and choosing to either modify or remove them. Titles that are grayed out cannot be removed from this window as they are being auto-detected. Title allows you to name or rename the selected application. Binary is the path for the executable.exe file of the selected application. You can also choose .bat and .jar files, which mods like PERMA and DualSheath Redux require. To change the binary, select the ellipsis at the right of the field. Navigate to an application's executable and double-click it. Start in is the working directory of the application, the folder in which the executable is stored, generally left blank unless autofilled. Arguments is where you input command line arguments to be passed to the binary. Overwrite Steam App ID. Only used for applications downloaded from Steam. I have never once had to fill this out myself. The only known app from Steam is the creation kit and it is set up automatically. Close MO when started. Mod Organizer will close when applications are launched that have this checkbox activated. Use Applications icon for shortcuts. When activated, we'll use the application's icon for shortcuts created for it via Mod Organizer. When you have finished altering the text field, if this is a new tool, select Add to add it to your list. Select Modify to save any changes made to a current application, or select Remove to remove the application from your list altogether. Select Close to exit the window. Launching Applications To launch an application from within Mod Organizer, open the Run drop-down menu. Once the application is chosen, select Run. If set up properly, in the previous step the application will launch. How to add applications that are packed with mods Most mods come with their executables packed inside of them. Instead of trying to add them through the Modify Executables window, a faster and safer way to do so is to first, make sure that the mod is properly installed to Mod Organizer, and second, open the Data tab in the right pane. Scroll to the bottom of the window. Here you will see a set of arrows. All .jar, .bat, and other application executables that are packaged with installed mods are sorted here. Expanding the appropriate arrow will allow you to see the executables within. Right-click them, choose Add as Executable, and it will be added to your list. All file paths and text will be appropriately applied to the application. You can then run it as you would if you had added it from the Modify Executables window. Overwrite the Overwrite Mod folder was expanded upon in detail in the previous video. What you need to know here is that every application that you run through Mod Organizer will have its file output designated to the Overwrite. Once you have finished creating a patch or whatever else it is that you are doing via an MO launched application, you need to right click Overwrite and select Create New Mod. Be sure to view the previous video to learn all of the specifics about this process as well as warnings to look out for. This has been a Gamer Poets tutorial, Mod Organizer, Profiles, Inifiles, and Third-Party Applications. This is the third video in the Mod Organizer series, of which there will be one, potentially two more. If you haven't seen the first videos, I would suggest that you check them out, as a lot of that will pertain to what you have watched here. If you have felt that the video was too fast, a text tutorial of this guide will be provided on NexusMods.com as time allows. I'd like to give a big thank you to all of those in the live stream who have been watching me throughout the day, both researching this guide, revising it, and helping to keep me company and moving me forward a bit quicker than usual. A specific thank you to Slego for a very good catch on the text, which would have made me provide some information that could have been a little confusing for some who watch it. Of course, a big thank you to Tannen for creating and maintaining Mod Organizer for so long. A big thank you to the Step Wiki Project, again for teaching me all of this information and providing such good reference material. And a big thank you to all of you for spending some time with me like you do. As always, I am Michael of Gamer Poets. Thank you for watching.